Zach Brown band bassist John Driscoll Hopkins is opening up about his battle with ALS for the first time. The musician and his wife Jennifer tell people how they received the news in 2021. I got on statins in um, the middle of 2019 for some high cholesterol and some some plaque issues and um, not totally atypical for um, my age group and uh, and I wondered if that was starting to make me feel weak. Uh, I've heard that that's a side effect. So I was asking questions about uh, the statin side effects in late 2019 because my double time on my guitar hand was failing me. It wasn't that I couldn't play anymore. It was that I, was, I wasn't fast. John also felt uh, the slowing in his speech sometimes mentioned that he's like sometimes I feel like I'm he's he's very clear when he speaks he's you know he's a theater person so he knows how to project and speak and uh, and so he I didn't notice it the people close to him didn't notice it but he said I there's something with my speech and I think that was another that was a year ago that was a, a sign know. that wait so then we started to do MRIs and I had some lower back pain and so we're looking for is it nerve damage is mm -hmm. it what could it be? And um, it wasn't until the end of 2021 that that the the third neurologist that I saw did, did an EMG test and said he believed that it was ALS and that um, I should go to a specialist and uh, and get that confirmed. And two weeks later, we did that. John admits aspects of his life have been difficult since receiving his diagnosis, but he's still able to do the thing he loves the most, performing on stage. The best news that we've gotten is that you probably started noticing symptoms in late 2019, which means you should be much further along at this point, which means that that it's very slow progressing. So as I'm stumbling over consonants and as I'm getting pissed off at my fingers, uh, most people aren't noticing these things in me. And um, when you Google ALS, it's it's a rabbit hole of terror. And I think, I think it's important to note that uh, a lot of people who are uh, afflicted with, with degenerative neuromuscular disease um, are able to live for a long time. But, you know, I've been singing since I could talk. So as long as I'm singing um, with, with excellence, with the excellence that Zach Brown Band deserves and that all of my bands deserve, then I will continue to do that and with the excellence that my audience deserves. The parents of three struggled to break the news to their young daughters, but they're doing the best to keep life at home as normal as possible. But the girls are, are living as they nor we're trying to keep life very normal for them. Um, what's going on with John is not a focal point for them. Um, there are a few little issues, but it, they're not like real evident yet to them. Um, and they're young, so um, fortunately, um, they 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 don't know the gravity of, of this disease yet, which is which is fine for us right now. We're, we're trying to keep things normal and as fun as possible. Our girls are happy, and you know we're trying to keep things fun and normal. While John's battle with ALS continues, the couple remains focused on providing support for each other. I think right now we're we're like, okay, we're we're ready to fight, and he's. I'm, I am blown away by how strong mentally he is. And, um, of course, we had those moments, but he's ready. Like, we're still, this is still pretty new for us. We're still just a few months in, really. And he's like, let's, let's work. Let's yeah. get to work. I let's figure this out. You know? I couldn't do any of this without Jennifer. I mean, she is, she's the one that's always saying, you, today you're fine. We don't know everything, you know, let's continue. Let's get up there. And, you know, she's, she's the one that's, that's uh, jumping in with both feet on, on everything that I don't understand about the foundation that we're starting. And, um, you know, I, my mental, state is that I have to keep working and 
and she supports that, you know, and she she's the one that says, put us on your calendar because you're going to work too hard and you're going to die of a heart attack instead of ALS, you know, because we, we need to relax. And, and she's right. And, and so, you know, this, I feel, I feel terrible for anyone who doesn't have support and I feel ultimately blessed by the support that I have. For more on John Driscoll Hopkins, pick up this week's issue of People on Newsstands Friday.